this one here. Is there course DCP and APAP? We can give name also, okay? Minus name, some sample WP. <coughs> I will try with 80. They are not accepting 80. So we will give the course which port it listens. I will try with this container 8090. See in this new piece. Being attached in check. So once you attach and kit it, it will kit again. We will start again. Docker start with the ID name. So when you attach it, give the console name, just like our uh, bin bash. You know what bin bash is? What is bin bash? Bash console. Okay. So when you attach it, try to give it with attach with the ID and bin bash. Yes, but it fit with the container. I don't know why it is not there. Attach local standard output output it seems to be a running container. Okay. I will install one more and see if that works. Uh, Docker error response from daemon driver failed programmatically external connectivity on endpoint on AT. The port is already allocated. That's the reason. I'll remove everything. Docker RM. Stop all. What is the Okay. Now, let me check if it is already listening or not. Okay, first. Well, that is not there. NC. Yeah, NC is there. So once it's not that. It, 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 not that. It's 
So they are expecting, suppose uh, you are creating MariaDB container, so they are expecting to give like MySQL everything as parameters. Okay, so how can we provide parameters using Docker? That is one thing. So how can we do that? We can use minus E environmental variables, MySQL root password equal to the MySQL. Then MySQL allow empty password equal to true. Okay, that also you can give. Then random root password. Okay, random root password that is equal to some A B C D and then give Meredith. Okay. Then what will happen this one? This will give you the complete details regarding <coughs> what all the environment variables that we provided. Maria is the image name. Maria TV. 
So this will create some MySQL server. Okay. View MySQL. Okay. MySQL. Initializing databases. So see, so start installing MySQL. So there is one compose file that is written in this Docker. That is the reason why it is creating all these stuffs. Okay. So in this way, we can create our own Docker file also. That I will create. So ready to start up. MySQL circles, binary distribution, version. Still had to come back. Okay. So that has run actually. Control PQ. There is one trick to quit from Docker. Once you attach in Docker, you cannot do Control C or Control D to log out from. Sorry. This control P control. Control P control. Control P. What option you are getting? Ready? You getting anything? For now, you try creating Docker for uh, this one. WordPress. Let I give you the command. So you will try attaching one Docker container with three folders with WordPress. So what I'm doing is making directory three. What is tilde WordPress? Root. And what is tilde WordPress database? Same root STM. Okay. And I'm passing this variable. I will copy one command and tell me what it is. We already have made it easy. So what it does? Docker run minus e with the root password. This is a root password. MySQL user, WP user. MySQL password is WordPress DB. Okay, database also given. Database is equal to WordPress DB. 
and minus b what is this minus b see minus b slash root wordpress database slash root wordpress database we have attached to warlib mysql so what happens yeah so once you install mysql mariadb it will install warlib mysql in the docker okay and we are mounting we are mounting that volume warlib mysql to our slash root wordpress database and we give some name wordpress db and mariadb and run it what it is there as root wordpress is not a shared from os it is not known to container in the us file share yes so go to there is one preference is there this is normally we should give and give add it okay so what is the location i gave slash root actually huh? so this is a sorry this is a mac no it will not take mac but we can add somewhere uh, this is my root folder var root mysql mkdir mysql okay and cd mysql it will be yeah so this location is there i'll run the same command except var root mysql So minus b is volume to be attached. What root mysql? Okay. Now what is the container? What was oh okay. See whenever you type anything in Docker, it will create by that its time itself. Remove it. Docker ps minus a. Doctor, RM, and do this one. Now nothing is there. Make sure and run it. Now what is the problem? Same. You see again it was created. We'll remove that one. Remove it. Now. Go to file sharing. Give where is our uh, not users? What root MySQL? Okay, so I added here. What root MySQL? Apply and restart. It will take a bit time. Docker engine is running. Kubernetes is running. Well, whether my volume came there? War. Root. My C. Very not big. Maximize it. Okay. okay. Let's see. Does not exist in the volume. Right. MySQL. CD, CD, so it's in users files. We'll try from here. Where is users? Users, this one, and give my secret. 
this thing should come. Okay. Apply and paste it. Overlaps with export path slash users. Ah, oh, that's okay. One drawback of Docker. Uh, it will not ask your confirmation, it will create by default and it will not give you the ID also while creating it. <clears throat> now it is slash users. Slash users and slash. Volume is already there, then why it is not taken? If you have a container, it will work fine. If you have installed it in the container, it should work fine. Yes, that has taken. No, still not taken. See if it is taking for you. For me, it is denied. Error response from demon bounds. Okay, so I use the existing one. I change the name for WordPress. First, we will remove it. Now it created. Okay, so this is my Docker location where I created the database. Type ls. Nothing will be there as of now. Okay. Now. Doctor, yes, minus a. You have the last entry by two two points created, other one deleted. All are created by the same image, but the name is different. So ours is WordPress now, so we have to exit it. So bad. Okay, do one more. Make this. Mounting, you will see what happens. It's, it's not taking in OSS. What about your? So Maybe a problem with uh, Mac OS. Okay, that is up anyway. Hmm? Now we need to find what is the network settings IP addresses. Okay, so how to find network IP addresses? Docker. Docker. Yeah. No, no, no. We need to find, we call this inspect. Okay. Docker inspect. What we need to inspect? Network settings. Network settings. Dot IP addresses. So yes, this guy. Network settings. Dot IP address this is what I give it and give them 
Docker ID. What is the ID of Docker? Request three. This is the one. Oh, it has given something. This is the IP address. Okay. This is the IP address. So local. So try connecting if possible. Try and see if it is connecting or not. My SQL three three zero six. It should work properly if you have telnet. You can try this. You create Docker with Docker Run. Uh, we'll do one. It should be shared in any of those. You are installing container, right? We have Google Chat in Gmail. It's enabled, huh? Some common shares. 